What's up everybody, Shane with Moretti Outdoors. So I'm getting ready to uh, hit some more sections of the Ice Age Trail. So I wanted to do a gear loadout video. So I'm gonna start with the basic essentials, which my sticks, I got the Cascade Mountain Tex, real good sticks. They got the concrete walking stick pads. You can take them off and use them for dirt, mud, and snow. And then I got the snow caps too, but they're uh, they're in the house, don't need them. Real good stick, I really like them a lot. So those are my sticks. Um, I don't have anything fancy for a backpack. I just can't see myself going out and spending 300 bucks for a backpack. Um, for hiking, what, three, four, five times a year. So I just went to Walmart and got an Ozark Trail 45 liter, and I've used this several times. Uh, it's a really good pack. It's a little bit heavier than I'd like. It's about a pound, maybe pound and a half heavy. But uh, it's got a lot of capabilities. It's got a, a waterproof cover for it for when it rains. I can store two water bottles on the side. It's got a food storage pouch down here. I can fit my, my tent down underneath here. Um, it's got a accessories uh, pouch here, and then it's got a big pocket in the front here, and then it's also got a big, and you can also put a, a, a water bladder in here too, but I don't use those things. But it's got a huge, huge storage unit in there, big. So, just a basic pack, nothing special, but I really like it because it's got the pads really padded it's got the aluminum braces in there for my back you know it's got the uh, gel pads down here for the for the back lower back all in all for $55 at Walmart it's not a bad pack so that's my pack my sticks and we'll move on to the sleeping system now all right for my sleep system I ended up going with uh, some changes my first time out on the trail. I really didn't tell anybody, but I overpacked my bag a lot Like I was like 35 pounds heavy So I backed off on a whole bunch of weight got rid of a bunch of junk. I didn't need and uh, Since I'm only section hiking a couple days at a crack I kind of overloaded my donkey on the first first run out plus the weather kind of got me, but um, this will be my second time out on the Ice Age. I want to get these two segments finished, which is the St. Croix segment and the Gandy Dancer segment. So I'll be like one mile short of finishing the Gandy Dancer once I'm done with those two sections, just because of parking issues. So for my sleep system, I went with, and I haven't even used this yet, but my Lux Tempo one-man backpacking tent. It's a little bit heavier than I'd like like it to be, but it's a fairly nice tent. Um, comes with like an Adirondack or Adirondack, however you say it, um, cover so you can use that as a shelter or you can use the tent. And then it comes with a footprint too, which is kind of nice. So I got that off Amazon. I'll put links in the descriptions for everything in case anyone's interested in this stuff. Um, the one man tent, it's it's decent. I ended up getting a really nice Lux Tempo uh, backpacking slash camping chair that folds up for like 30 cents for buying that tent. So I really, it was a $30 chair. I couldn't really pass it up. Um, I dumped my sleeping bag because of the weather. It's decent. It's gonna be a little bit chilly while I'm out there. I'm thinking like 50 degrees at night. So I just went to Walmart and picked up just a fleece throw. You know, a little bit thinner, but it'll keep me warm. And then I'll use my Ozark Trail rectangular liner. I'll just kind of sneak inside that liner and then put the throw over and I'll probably bring a pair of thermals. Because my I have a really good bag, but it's heavy and it's bulky. And I'm trying to keep the weight trimmed because I am doing like 24 miles. And uh, my back's just, I don't know how good it's gonna handle a lot of weight. So um, for, for a, a bed, I got my Static V. That's been, my bed by climate awesome bed awesome air bed you guys it's good for back sleeping and side sleeping I'm a big side sleeper and it also keeps you warm too I mean it really does help keep you warm really nice bed and then for a pillow I got a nature hike outdoors pillow 
real small and compact. Nice little pillow, guys. I really like it. So we'll move on to food. We'll do food next. Okay, for food, uh, I'm going out for two full days and one overnight. So it's overnight, one night, and then two full days of hiking. So this is what I'm taking. I'm kind of taking a mixture of everything, but a uh, pack of gourmet meal. And that's All American Works cheeseburger uh, with two tortilla shells for breakfast. I'll have uh, some instant oatmeal with uh, some brown sugar topping and some honey. Um, one MRE, this would probably be for dinner. Uh, beef shredded and barbecue sauce, and then there's a whole bunch of other stuff in here. You guys will see some videos coming up with MREs. I ended up getting a whole case of them, so. Um, and then another MRE I cracked open on my last trip. All I took out of it was just some peanuts and some raisin mix. Otherwise, it's a vegetable lasagna. It's got some wheat snack bread, trekking peanut butter I took out too, some punch beverage, oatmeal chocolate chunk cookie. <clears throat> so these things are packed full of, <clears throat> full of calories too. Then I have just an all around accessory bag. Um, my coffee filter for making coffee, some peanut butter M&Ms, some toothpaste, ketchup, peanut butter. Um, coffee, my filter for making coffee, some singles to go, creamer for my coffee. That's about it. That's what I'm taking for food and then of course I'll have a bunch of water too. So we'll move on to uh, my first aid stuff. Okay, if we're going off for two days, it's a little excessive, but I'd rather have too much stuff than not enough, and that's the reason why I trimmed as much weight as I could. Um, <clears throat> so I'm taking my little neck knife. I know it's, you know, pretty chintzy, but uh, I don't think I need anything more than that. I just want to have something sharp on me, so I'm taking my little more knife. I don't know if I'm just going to stick it in my pocket or wrap it around my neck. I don't know yet. Not too sure. Um, just a standard rain poncho. We only got 40% chance of rain coming, so this should cover me and my backpack. It's fairly big and it's really, really lightweight. Um, I wasn't take my frog togs, but it's so hot and it's just so heavy and bulky. So, not gonna do it this trip. Maybe on a longer trip, yes, but not on a section hike. Uh, I'm gonna take, I got my clothes. I sprayed them down with permethrin, but I am gonna take some Repel Max. It's always good stuff to have. Uh, a lot of people have been telling me I don't need it. Uh, there are lots of bears around right now with cubs. I just don't want to bump into one and not have something. And not only that, I think I fear the two-legged beast more than the four-legged one. Um, worst case scenario, that's going to put someone on their butt. So protection all around. It'll go on my waist. Right around my belt, I won't even know it's there. Uh, I don't have EpiPens, so if I do get stung by a bee, I do have a bee sting kit and a snake bite kit. There are snakes around here, believe it or not. There's rattlesnakes and, and stuff, so nice to have that. It's lightweight. It's a little bit bulkier than I like. Standard first aid kit. It's got moleskin. Uh, I got a fire starter there. Can't have fires where I'm going to be staying at the DCA Centuria which is a um, dispersed camping area. It's real open, but no open fires. But I got my little cook stove, you guys will see it next. So I got a little wet fire tinder, a little towel in there. And then the inside is just basic stuff. Some more, you know, wet fire blocks. Um, I can put those in my stove and just burn them and that'd be my little fire. Um, you know, band-aids, moleskin, basic first aid. Just gonna clip right in the front of my pack on my strap. Nice little, Nice little first aid kit. All my basic prescription meds, stomach pills, headache medicine, Tylenol, ibuprofen, my sumatriptan injections in case I need them. I always go everywhere with them. I hate carrying it around because it's bulky, but if I need them, I need them. I'm gonna be in the middle of nowhere. So, um, I don't know if I really need both, but I probably will just take them both. I'll take a pack of wet ones, pack of Cottonelle, Gotta be fresh and clean out there on the trail. 
little roll of toilet paper. There's no cardboard in the middle, so it's all pure toilet paper. I like these things. So, and then uh, that's it. That's my first aid stuff. We'll move on to my water bottles and water filtration next. All right, for my water system, my water filtration and everything, my bottles. Um, <clears throat> this thing is just amazing. I love this thing. It's the Knock Outdoors 72 ounce bladder. It's got that zipper pouch, opens right up, big huge mouth. You can just dip it right into a river or stream. It's got a really nice lip right there, so you can just hook your hook your Sawyer right up to it. And I also have a Alexa Pure um, backup filter I'm taking with, so I'm gonna fill that up, have that available for filtering my water. I don't really know if I'm gonna take this or not. That's just for the Sawyer squeeze. Don't know if I'm gonna take it. I might not, I might. Um, <clears throat> just a life water bottle for the front of my pack. Standard with the mouthpiece pe mouth works pretty good. I think I need to wash that. Um, <clears throat> my outdoor products bottle. Um, you know, it's a little bit heavier and bulkier, but I really do like the fact that it's got the measurements on there and I can use that for my coffee. I can use that for, you know, my <clears throat> dehydrated meals. And then, like I said, once again, I'm taking the Sawyer squeeze, the Sawyer, and then I got the Alexa Pier as my backup, which is amazing. It's like a life straw, but it hooks up into a bottle. Awesome filter. Really like it a lot. So that's my water, all my stuff for my water filtration. And then we'll move on to cookware and stuff and, and my cooking items. All right, for my cookware, pretty pretty plain, straight up. Taking my GSI Minimalist Outdoors Cup. It's the stainless one. I wish it was the titanium or the aluminum one, but it's the stainless, a little bit heavier. I'm um, taking my Iridium stove. You guys have seen this. I have a review on it. Definitely gonna have this with me because it's my cook stove and I can put the fuel tablets in there and have a fire and they can't say nothing because it's a contained fire. Um, here's the fuel tablets, they're just the Weber. Nuclear Outdoor Products. Awesome stove, you guys. This thing weighs nothing. No moving parts, no fuel, weighs absolutely nothing. My buddy makes them in Indiana. Amazing stove for backpacking. And then this little container he gave me, it actually fits a tool that they use to machine the, the um, stoves. But it'll fit four cubes. And there they are. They're just a burning cube. They're non-toxic. They heat up a cup of water pretty fairly quick. And then my packet gourmet steep bag. I'm gonna use that for my meal. Probably use that for my MREs too, for steeping. Just a steeping bag. Nice little bag. That's all for cookware. And then, uh, so the only thing left I have is just some charging material. Of course, I'm gonna be taking the Canon SL2. Um, it's a little bit heavier than I like to mess around with, but I want to give you guys high definition, high quality footage. So, um, we'll just do like a, you know, I'll just show you guys the rest of my stuff is just some miscellaneous stuff. Um, little accessory pouches, uh, for my cell phones and neck gaiter. You know, I don't have any, any gaiters for my, you know, any dirty girls or nothing for my hiking shoes. I really haven't been able to afford them, and I just really don't think I need them. I just don't care, you know, but whatever. So that'll be next. All right, guys, and then last but not least, this is the last of my gear other than the stuff I'm going to be wearing and uh, just uh, uh, thermals. I'm going to just bring some thermal pants. That's it. I'm not going to bring any extra socks or any of that stuff. Um, I'm going to have some wigwam um, coolant, the coolant socks on. Links in description below for everything, guys, that I got here. It's gonna be a lot, but just in case anyone's interested. Um, found, I don't have an ass pad yet, so I'm still looking to buy one. So I ended up getting these at Walmart for a buck. It's an inflatable seat cushion disposable. Looks like a cool little cushion. Thought I'd give it a shot. Of course, I gotta have some reading material. Um, for charging, I'm just taking my Ventev double port. Thing's a little beast, man. 
just amazing. Uh, for lighting, taking my Nebo. Things super duper bright. You guys will see a review on this coming up soon enough. Got a clip, I'll just clip it right onto my front of my pack. Good for walking at night. Headlamp. Gotta have a headlamp. Um, and then just my water bottle. It's actually a Bell bag for a bike, but I couldn't find a water bottle carrier for my pack. So just a standard little, it fits my, my life water bottle perfect for the front of my front of my pack, so I don't have to keep taking my pack off to get a hold of water. And then uh, my accessory pack, I've got my neck gaiter in it, some duct tape in case I need it, make some, some fixes, um, spare batteries for my camera, be for my cell phone too, it's strapped right on the front of my pack, um, some, some tinder tin, I won't need it, I'll leave this behind, I won't need tinder tin, can't have a fire at all, emergency cell phone, that's it. So other than that, like I said, I'll have my, um, you know, my hiking shoes, which are high quality ones, um, the gear I have on, and that's, that's really it guys. And then my camera and my, um, my little tripod for it and then the mic. So I'm still, my base weight's about 15 pounds. And with all my food and stuff, it's like 26 pounds. And I was like 35. Um, it might be a little bit more now because I didn't add that 72 ounce bladder, but I am gonna, cause where I'm getting dumped off at, there's no water for about nine miles. So I'll probably be about 27 to 28 pounds total. Uh, my base weight won't change, but of course, once I eat and drink, it'll fluctuate and stuff. So um, it's still not bad, you know, a lot of the, pro hikers and stuff their base weights about 10 to 12 and that's going ultralight I'm not really going ultralight so not too shabby I'd like to get down a little bit but uh, enough jabbing I uh, will see you guys out on the trail happy trails guys lots of videos coming man um, don't forget to get into my my giveaway video I got that up that's ready to go some really cool stuff I'm giving away um, got a kayaking trip coming up some hiking videos, some reviews, some MRE videos, doing some taste testing and some MRE unboxing of cases of MREs. Just tons of good footage, guys. I mean, if you guys are into that stuff. Um, but anyway, as always, guys, I'm ready outdoors. Go wild and God bless.